the greatest desire of every man is to have what we call a favorable outcome in issues of life. Favorable outcome. When you travel like this, what they are praying, oh God, oh, I hope you will come back with good news. What they are desiring is favorable outcome. You are going to pray, Lord, in this service, let your favor that will move my destiny to the next phase drop upon me. Lift up your voice and pray that from the depth of your heart. Your favor that will move my destiny, your favor that will move my future to the next phase, let it drop upon me. Your favor that will move my destiny to the next phase, let it answer for me. Your favor that will move my destiny to a greater height, that will move my destiny to a more fulfilling height, let it rest upon me. Let it rest upon me. Your favor. Your favor. Your favor. Your favor. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in this service, by your favor, rewrite our story. Terminate the yoke of shame. Destroy the root of stagnation. By your favor, move us to the next phase of fulfillment. In the name of Jesus Christ. The favor that answered in the life of Bishop David Oedeko the favor that answered in the life of Bishop David Abuye, let it gain expression in our life today. They are not strugglers. Today, terminate struggle. They are not begging to make progress. Today, break every yoke that hinders our progress. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Congratulations. Please get seated. God bless you. In the first service, we looked at favor, keys to unlimited destiny. That's part one. And in this service, we are looking at the part two. Keys to unlimited destiny, favor, key to unlimited destiny, part two. Favor is the life wire of every glorious destiny. Your destiny is great. Your future is awesome. But favor determines what comes to pass. So without favor, you are reduced to a struggler. Psalm 44 and verse 3. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand, and thy arm, and the light of thy countenance, because thou hadest a favor unto them. So one of the best things that can happen to any man is to be a recipient of the favor of God. When you become a recipient of the favor of God, favor with man is automatic. When you secure favor with God, you don't need to beg for man's favor. It must land in your hand. 
when a man's way pleases the Lord, he makes his enemies to be at peace with him. They can do bone face, but God will squeeze their hearts and force out their blessing. So you can't lack favor from God if your destiny must be fulfilled. You must not lack favor from God. When you secure favor with God, where others cannot enter, you will enter. What others are struggling to get, they may even be bringing it to meet you in your house. That's why favor becomes a principal determinant of every flourishing destiny. Favor is a principal determinant of every accomplished life. Thank God for contacts. Thank God for connections. But they have failing power. Are you what I'm saying now? They have what we call failing power. But favor with God can never expire. But rather, it moves you from one face to another face. Just as scripture says in Proverbs 4, and verse 18, the part of the jaws is as a shining light that shineth brighter unto a perfect day. You can't be increasing in favor and not be flourishing in life. You can't be increasing in favor and expire suddenly. You can't be increasing in favor and every aspect of your destiny is answering at men's will. No, they will answer by the will of favor. But what is this favor? Number one, favor is God's goodness unleashed on you. God's goodness. In the first service, we look at God's goodwill. Now we are talking about God's goodness. Reading through the book of the psalmist, you see him thanking God for his goodness. You hear me? The more of God's goodness you secure, the more favor you enjoy. God's goodness. God's goodness is a reflection of his good way. In Psalm 23, he said, Surely, goodness and mercies shall follow you. Goodness. Wherever you find goodness, you go find mercy. I remember one of our members, they delivered to him, he called this one goodness and mercy. Yes, they are twins. So they call this one goodness, they call this one mercy. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you. When the goodness of God is at work in your life, the favor of God will be seen all around you. So, may you not lack goodness. If you lack goodness, eh, you go get badness. Things will become more badder. More what? Things will become more rougher, more badder. But the more goodness you secure, the more favor you enjoy. But you know the secret of his goodness? Gratitude. Father, I thank you for your goodness. Upon my life, upon my family, upon this work, I thank you for your goodness. Who am I that you have shown me your goodness? The more you thank him for goodness, the more you provoke his goodness. Every good thing that is taking place in your life is not your right. Favor brought it your way. We read it from the scripture now. They got not the land by their own arm. 
neither did their power save them, but I am. And because of thy countenance, thou hadest a favor unto them. So the things you are getting is not because you are the best. Not because you are the most skillful. Not because you are the most connected. Goodness. Say with me, goodness. So wherever you go and goodness is following you, blessing continues. You leave Jaws. You land Jalingo. Goodness and mercy follow you. Somebody is laughing. Is Jalingo not good? Are people not living in Jalingo? Maybe, maybe there is somebody here from Jalingo that uh, the Holy Ghost is talking about. You will see blessings. Amen. So, the favor of God is triggered by the goodness of God. When you secure goodness, you are enveloped with favor. 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 May you not lack goodness. I say again, may you not lack goodness. Number two, what is favor? Psalm 5 and verse 12. Let's read it. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. With what? Will thou compass him as with a shield? So, the blessings triggers the favors. So, favor guarantees rest roundabout. So, when favor comes upon your life, you're on your pathway to rest roundabout. And the Lord gave them rest roundabout. Why? Blessings of favor has been released. Today, 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 God is moving you and your family to rest round about. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And the more the favor, the psalmist said the lines are falling for me in pleasant places. The more favor is coming upon you, the more the lines will be falling for you in pleasant places. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. There are people anywhere they knock is like roadblock. But that will not be your story again. Anywhere they knock, roadblock. But when favor comes upon you, rest. You go here, door open. You go here, door open. People will begin to wonder, now let you day. It's not only you day. Favor, they follow you. Today, the increase in that favor will answer upon you. Yeah. What is favor? Favor is supernatural pleasantness coming upon a man. Supernatural pleasantness. What does it mean for supernatural pleasantness to come upon a man? Others will go, they will reject them. When you go, they don't know what will come over them. They'll just say, something in me is telling me to give it to him. Something in me is telling me to give it to him. It is the force of favor. The force of favor loses the loins of men to do you good. It loses the loins of men to do you what? Good. So men are compelled to favor you. I, I just remember one station I was posted to. 
the first day we landed, I was sent as an assistant to be there temporarily before I would be located. The first day, say with me, the first day. Our service just finished. My pastor just walked in and said, Pastor, don't spend too much here. The people here, eh? they are wicked. You see, they are happy like this. I didn't talk because he didn't know who is my master. I have been taught by my master that the moment you step into a place, you go with what we call groundbreaking seed. If the ground is hard for others, it will be soft for you. That same day, we release the groundbreaking seed. Are you know what I'm saying now? Huh? As we release the seed, I don't need to go in the natural. The groundbreaking seed changes the atmosphere because of you. It changes the tides of events because of you. Now, guess what happened? And I did it consciously to let him know that uh, that thing he's saying is not true. The following Sunday, where he said that they are wicked, somebody blessed me with 20,000. After that, I said, ah, sir, somebody just blessed me with 20,000. Right? Say it's a lie. <laughs> I kept quiet. The following day, and that person came, 10,000. I said, sir, are you sure what you said is correct? Another one just came now. You see, are these people playing game with me? Say with me, supernatural pleasantness. You know you can use your mouth and drive your blessing. Yes. You can use your mouth and drive your favor carriers. Scripture says, hidden in the tongue is the power of life and death. Them that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And scripture says, in his favor there is life. So if you speak favor, you will see favor. If you are talking disfavor, you will see more people that will disfavor you. What gave me confidence and assurance is that this small boy you see here has reached the realm where the Holy Ghost is now talking to them in dreams and vision. So I cannot be looking at anybody's face. The same way they've been coming through dreams and vision, they will still bring my blessing. Supernatural pleasantness. Pleasantness. So when the force of supernatural pleasantness is at work, the yoke of struggle dies. Because favor is the cure to struggle. When you are a favored man and a favored woman, you don't struggle to get things. You don't struggle. If you are struggling, it's, the implication is that you are using your power. What scripture says, by strength shall no man prevail. You're using your power to get things. No. God is working out things in your favor. From today, as this oil come upon you, what others are struggling to get, favor will be putting it in your hand. Amen. Number three. Is it number three? I don't reach number four, Nana. Sure? I manage. I think it should be it should, it should be correct. The first one is goodness. Abby? Rest roundabout. Yes, you are correct. You are correct. Number four now, Abby. Favor is the seal of divine goodwill. I must not miss this one. Hear me, if you want to go far, carry good way. If there is any secret that I know that Papa has, Bishop Abiyo is following and Bishop Aremi is operating on, is the mystery of good way. If you carry bad way, you go die quick.
Because favor is a seed. It's favor for favor. Life is favor for favor. If you carry bad will, you are a witchcraft. You may be in the church and be speaking in tongues, but you are a winch. Do you know why you are a winch? You are looking for people that will fall so that you will rise. You are looking for people that their blessings will scatter, but your own no go stay. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? If you do to scatter another person's own, your children own to no go stay. Life is favor for favor. The goodwill you sow is what comes back to you. The goodwill you give is what God looks at and return back blessing for you. No wonder Mahmoudok said what you make happen for others is what God makes happen for you. Who is left of the house of Jonathan that I may show him favor? Because Jonathan showed David favor. Why you stay in a church like a spoiler? God bless you. Stay well. God said in his word, them that spoil you, I will spoil. And not only that, he will raise men that will damage you well. Men live by good will. Things will work. Papa said, I've not fought anybody's ministry. That's why any person that is fighting me is dying. Their own is closing. You may not be in ministry, but fight me. You will see how your business will poco. Your house will be in hardship. It's a law. Carry goodwill. You will last long. Even when men are ganging up against you, you are going up. Their gang up is for your going up. Carry goodwill. If you lack goodwill, you will be rejected anywhere you go. Does God need favor? Answer me, does God need favor? But when you carry goodwill, you are touching his heart. You are touching his heart. You are just God's representative here doing what he should be doing. So, you are a mobile distributor of favor. And people that show favor never lack favor. People that carry goodwill never lack goodwill. People that show favor never lack blessings. Before one is finishing, another one is entering. If you don't have goodwill, you will not prosper. Because prosperity rides on the wings of goodwill. Goodwill. Are you wrong saying now? I just remembered one prayer my father used to pray. I didn't even understand what he was saying. Who understands Ibo here? He said, Oga Deregema, it shall be well with you. That was in 2006. You were just saying it, saying it, saying it. Or oh, saying, Amen, Amen, Amen. I said, Don't do now. He said, No, you never do. It shall be well with you. Oga Deregema. Oga Deregema. I said, Okay, okay, I've heard. He said, No, hear it more. It shall be well with you. My prayer is that everyone around me, it shall be well with them. Amen. I've never desired any, any person's blessing to go down, but rather to go up. That's why, uh, you may not understand, so you may think I'm praying too much. Oh. That's why opportunities others are looking for, they look for me. good way. I remember one midnight, Papa didn't preach any message. He was just talking on good way, good way, good way, good way, good way. We are wondering whether he didn't have any message. But he wanted what was in him to enter us. When you have good way, you go faster. But when you lack good way, you go slow motion. 
things will be crawling in your hand. Goodwill is the medicine for favored people. When you have goodwill, things will look for you. Not you looking for things. You hear me? Goodwill is stronger than the bad will of men. You may be in church and people are people may not like your face, may hate you, they may spread in blackmail to see how they can uh, do everything for you to go down. But hey, it's, it's a pity. You can't bring down a man of goodwill. You rather go down for a man of goodwill. Can God take side with your bad will? Can God confirm your bad will? No! So you need good will to ride on the wings of favor. Good will. Good will. One of my state pastors called me one day. He just came into my office. He sat down. Tell me your secret. Tell me your secret. Do you know what came out from my mouth? Good way. Is that all? I said, good way. Are you sure? Good way. He now asked, what is good way? And I replied, what God is making happen for me, my desire that it also happen for you. Should I tell you something? People of good will, they don't hide what they have. They show people what they have so that they too can rise. But somebody, let me, don't show him more so that he won't shine more than you. Is there anything that today... Is there anything that I'm using now that I've not told you? Say it. Members are watching. That's why even when I travel, I'm at rest. Master now, master now. Two of us. It will be my joy that is shining even when I'm not around. Now, have I called anybody even when I travel there? How was the service? Did he perform well? I don't do that. Because I know he's under heat to generate results. So he must produce. If I want him to fail, I cannot release my hard drive for him. My hard drive is one terabyte. To release my messages of one terabyte to him to shine, for what? That's witchcraft. Are you getting me now? Even the recent ones that I'm loading now, it's just because of too much pressure work. I will have released it. So, be loading, be loading. As you are shining, I'm shining. My shining can hinder your shining. I shine my shine, you shine your shine. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? But the moment I begin to say, let me not give you more. The way I'm seeing is boy. <laughs> yeah, it's red. The day I start thinking that way, I'm killing my ministry. Are you wrong saying now? Huh? You rise, I rise. You shine, I shine. Don't seek who will go down for you to climb. Crap go bite your leg. There's what we call the law of crabology. If you are seeking someone that will go down for you to go up, you may never go up. Are you wrong saying now? Anytime you make an attempt to see that you go up, they say, come down yeah, we belong to the same place. That's the law of crabology. Who has seen crab inside basket before? Okay, you have seen it. Eh? As one is trying to do as if he wants to say, come down, all of us, they are. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying now? As you are seeking the favor of God to be increased in other people's life by goodwill, you enjoy more goodwill. You enjoy more goodwill. What is favor? Favor is the clothing of glory that increases our likability and our acceptability. So favor is the cure for shame. Favor is the cure for reproach. Favor is the cure for misfortune. Favor is the cure for rejection. Favor is like a clothing. A clothing of acceptance. Let us be accepted by his brethren. Let him dip his feet in oil. <laughs> when favor come upon you, you step into uncommon opportunities. In case you can't see it in any person, see this person here. Uncommon opportunities, they follow me. There's even one that I carried two days ago, and I never hear that one. Let Asa be accepted by his brethren, and let him dip his foot in what? Oil. Step into favor. As this oil come upon you, you will step into uncommon favor. When the clothing of favor come upon you, you cannot be rejected. Even when there is an arrangement for you to be rejected, favor will reverse it. Now remember the testimony of a woman who went for a visa interview and one demon was positioned there to be stamping reject, reject. Reject, reject. <laughs> and she has come for a service of favor like this. When it was getting to her turn, one person was before her, before the ambassador just sent for the person. The person that came to deliver the message took over. Guess what happened? As he just finished attending to that man and attending to that sister, the demon arrived back. But before it will get to her turn, she has collected a green card. Just like that. Every agent of disfavor in your life by this anointing, the power of God will drive them away. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Lastly, favor changes your smell. Smell. Should I tell you something? There is a smell each one carries in the realm of the spirit. Everybody you see here now carries a smell in the realm of the spirit. You are either carrying a smell of acceptance, a smell of open door, a smell of peace, a smell of rest, or a smell of rejection. Even me as a pastor, there are some individuals that will come around and say, Pastor, I don't want to see this person now. Send him out, quick. Is there any problem? No problem. Send him out! Devil. At that point in time, I'm operating by the gift of discernment of spirit. Are you know what I'm saying now? Huh? One young man, when I was choir director, came. He was very, a very good singer from where he was coming from. I won't call the name of the church. It's a popular church which every one of us know. So he was singing, singing, singing. My keyboardist, his name is Anointed. He says, sir, this boy should sing. He said, no. My spirit is saying, no, I reject. He says, sir. My, all my choir is called, they came to meet me. Sir, let this person sing now. He has stayed six weeks. I said, what are my spirit is perceiving? You are not perceiving it. You can't near there until it is clear. Guess what happened? After we finished the meeting, I tell them no. 
well, they accepted my no, but their heart was not pleased with me. Are you wrong saying now? But guess what happened? The young man relocated to where he was coming from to go and meet the person that they were doing the thing together. He was a homosexual. So, as God will have it, they caught him. That's a red-handed catching. As they catch him, they now say he's our member. I say he's not my member. They say he said this in the choir. I say it's not in my choir. So they were now asking, is he in your choir? I said, ask my people now. He was only coming here, but he's not our member. So I now called all the people that we are putting pressure that he must sing. You know, the moment he carried the microphone, he go release the spirit for them. Now them he go baptize first. He will first baptize everybody. I now called all of them. Now that you are pressing me, have you heard? Sir, so we didn't know. I said, how can you know? Carnal people. At times, when I say no, there must be a reason that must come out. No, no, no. He said, this man, too hard. He's too hard. He faced, he faced the degree anybody there. I said, thank God saying no catch you. That was the keyboardist that brought it. I said, thank God saying no catch you. <laughs> because it's a spirit. The moment he catch you, he jump upon you, he jump upon this one, he jump upon this one. Why am I saying this? He carried the smell of rejection. So the spirit that was at work rejected him. He should not be favored with the microphone to go and sing. But anyone with any wrong spirit that is making you rejected, today, the oil of favor will change your smell. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. What are the products of favor? We stopped at number five in the first service. Favor we do for you, that's number six now, what money can't do for you. So favor will give you what money can give you. Favor will give you access which the rich can give you. Favor will do for you what money can't do for you. Favor will give you access which money can't give you access to. Favor will give you what money can't do for you. There are too many blessings our life require that money can buy. Can money buy good health? Can money buy fruitfulness? Favor. Favor. Can money buy good sleep? You can take sleeping tablets. But have you taken waking tablet? Has anybody here taking waking tablets? Please recommend for me. Can money buy a good wife? Can money buy a good husband? Favor. No. Remember two, last week we were talking about um, helpers of destiny. And we said that um, getting married, you need the help of God to locate your helper. Am I correct? If you marry a wrong woman or a wrong man, you are on one leg. What did I say? And if you're on one leg, will you be able to run where? Good. May you not marry another man's wife. Amen. And may you not marry another man's husband. Amen. By favor, you will locate your own. Hey, Pastor, I have feeling for him. Your feeling will finish. <laughs> I have feeling for him. Feeling, feeling, feeling. 
when that feeling expires, you enter reality. Am I saying the truth? Money can't buy a good wife nor a good husband. It's a blessing from the Lord. Somebody opened his mouth and said, Pastor, I... <laughs> this person you see here is a winch, oh. Who give a winch job? Who give a winch job? Now the one you chop remain. The next product of favor, favor guarantee perpetual opportunity in life. People can change. Season can change. Government can change, but opportunity that comes by favor is constant. You are going from opportunity to opportunity. Why? By the force of favor. Do you know that Daniel was relevant in Babylonian government for 71 years? This is not a four year, four year, four plus four. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? How many years? So if they are doing 16, 16 years, how many, how many has he entered? How many? Good. That will let you know what favor can do. Favor said, this man, if you replace him, trouble they will. We don't have a replacement for him. Favor makes you indispensable. You, you become relevant for every opportunity. So, you are moving from one opportunity to another opportunity. Why? The force of favor. The force of favor. I've discovered even naturally, no matter how they change the list, you get some people with the name if you remove their name. True of us. Even when you try to remove it, they will come and tell you, Oga, <laughs> Oga, now beg with the beg you, leave this man. If you remove this man, something goes scatter. So when favor is at work in your life, you are not short of opportunity. I hear me? Opportunity is one of the major driving force for a fulfilled destiny. Destiny is at the mercy of opportunity, but it's favor that organizes it for you. Destiny is at the mercy of opportunity. If you lack opportunity, you won't succeed. Because your succeeding is tied to the opportunity that comes your way. And for opportunity to, to keep coming, favor must keep flowing. Number three, which is um, number nine, favor makes perceived enemies to offer precious opportunities. So the favor of God can turn your worst enemy to be working for you. And my prayer for you today is that God will use your worst enemy to bring your best blessings. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. Yeah. The people that hated the Israelites with passion were the same people God said, you will not go with, you will not go empty-handed, or you will go, go with favor. The people that hated them with passion they are the ones now bringing out their gold, their silver, their microwave, their fridge, all their dry fish, their stock fish. Man, I carry go. I hear say the journey now 40 days. Carry go. Man, I carry go. 40 years. Carry go. Carry go. Carry go. Hear me? When favor is at work, your worst enemies, they are working out your best blessings. You didn't say Amen. amen. No wonder Paul said, for we know all things work it together for good 
to them that love God and are called according to his word, purpose. You may think that they, they are hating you. God is using them. Oh, you don't know? You think it's only Satan that is using them? God is using them. That's why I'm clapping hand for any person that says hate me. I'm clapping hand for you. Because you are among those that God is using to make sure that I'm pushed into the place. <laughs> is it amazing? Ah, it's scriptural. It's scriptural. Your enemy will be thinking that they are working against you, not knowing that God is using them to push you inside their blessing. Today, as this oil come upon you, your enemy will be used for your favor. You better say amen now. But look at it. If all the opportunities that come your way, they came by the people that you know or people that uh, like you, truly, truly, you are lacking favor. If all the opportunities that come your way came through people you know or people that like you, you are lacking favor. You are lacking favor. For it to be the favor of the Lord, it will be through people you don't know. And I've discovered majority of the favor that have come my way are through people that I don't know. Not that I've related with them one year, two years, three years, four years, five years. People that I don't know. It will happen for you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Favor, the next product of favor, favor makes you to turn again. It makes things to turn again for you when it is not yet your turn. I think I mentioned something like this in the first service. It's not yet your turn, but they have given you again. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we are like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue was healing it. They said the hidden among them, they said, the Lord has done great things for them. Today, God will turn things again. Yeah. Oh, somebody missed that one. Yeah. God will turn things again. Yeah. Oh, we read the testimony of one brother. He just got a job. He has not even resumed. They have given him another job. They now say, okay, we don't want you to lose this job. Do the job at your own will. Which kind of job be that one? Which means do the job at your own what? Will. That's favor. Permit me to say this. He's not even the best. But the favor of God sought him out. Favor will sort you out. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. I will stop at this one. Favor gives you unrestricted access to restricted people and places. Unrestricted access to restricted places and people. Where others can't enter freely, favor enable you to enter cheaply. Until the golden scepter is stretched, nobody is permitted to appear before the king. But Esther entered cheaply. But do you know the secret? She said, pray for me. You people should fast. I too, I will fast. I want to enter the presence of the king. Favor must answer for me. Unrestricted access to restricted places. Esther entered it. The king didn't stretch. She just entered. She said, there must be something about you. What do you want? He didn't even say, why did you break our protocol? My prayer for you. The same door they are manipulating against you. After this oil come upon you, that door will open on its own for you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Amen. Favor gives unrestricted access to restricted places. So when a man is favor, 
There is nothing called access control. It is favor determined. He now enjoys what we call favor control. Is it possible for you to have money and not enter some places? Am I correct? Is it possible for you to have connection and be denied of some places? But when favor is at work for you, they can stop others. They will not stop you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And lastly, I must not fail to tell this one. Favor makes opportunities that others look for to look for you. Others are looking for it. But the thing is looking for you. Papa said, many are running after blessings. Blessings are running after some people. Many are running after opportunities. Opportunity is running after some people. Many are running after big names. The big names are running after them. From today, what others are running after will begin to look for you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. I like that one. They will be seeking for it, but they are seeking for you. What are the benefits of favor? Favor attracts honor. Even in the midst of adversities, favor attracts honor. When favor from God lands upon you, honor from men cannot be denied you. So for you to increase in honor, increase in favor. Increase in favor. The moment you increase in favor, you increase in honor. You don't struggle to be honored. Number two, benefits of favor, protocols, laws, decisions are obtained for you. Policies are changed because of you. I won't forget one of our members. Then I was in Asaba. <laughs> that was the first time I heard of a portfolio being created. Do you know the portfolio that was created for him? Commissioner for Conflict Resolution. We don't hear that kind of office before. They created the office just because of the man. Commissioner for Conflict Resolution and Chieftaincy Matters. Who has had that one before? <laughs> when they felt that that one was not enough, they now say his essay to the governor on political matters. Which kind of appointment be that one? But by all means, a portfolio must be created for him. Number one, they felt he was a threat, that he would be a threat if he's not given a position. And for him to make for them to make him comfortable, essay to governor on political matter, commissioner for conflict re resolution and chieftaincy affairs. Which can put appointment be that one? But by all means, they settled him. They will settle you. Amen. I said they will settle you. Amen. I said they will settle you. Amen. They broke the rules. Why? Because someone needs to be favored. Now, what is the key to this favor? In the first service, we look at our right standing with God, being current in spiritual things, maintaining spiritual fervency. But hear this the greatest of all key is to maintain an undying passion for love towards God and his house. If we look at the scripture that we read, Psalm 102 and verse 15, 
Let's take it from verse 14. Psalm 102 and verse 14. For thy servant taketh pleasure in thy stones and favor the dust thereof. And David said, My love and my affection is set towards the house of my God. You can't be increasing in affection and love towards God and not be increasing in favor from God. So when you are increasing in favor from God, it's a direct reflection that your love for God is rising. What has happened to your love for God? Who collected your love from God? Who stole it? Oh, Galatians, who has bewitched you? Did you start in the spirit to end up in the flesh? Who collected your love from God? Because it is your love for God that determines the favor he releases for you. When you are dying in love, you are reducing in favor. When you are increasing in love, you are blessing with favor. Naturally, you can't favor someone that doesn't love you. True or false? Am I saying the truth? When someone is not increasing in love for you, was increasing in witchcraft, increasing in manipulation, seeking for how he will do things for things to spoil, will you be blessing him? Your heart can bless him. Don't pretend. Now towards his house, <laughs> God said, because of my house, Haggai chapter 1, even chapter 2, because of my house, that you have abandoned, have caused the dew to be withheld from you. And the earth will burn like oven for you. Why? My house. A day I spend in your court is more than a thousand years outside. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. One thing have I desired, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple, hear me, who collected your law for God? Go and collect it back. Go and take it back. Should I tell you something? This arrival mentality is the reason for your struggle. Every time you begin to feel that you have arrived spiritually, hear me, you have stopped finally. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, I press. Tell your neighbor, it's time to press. I press towards the mark of the high calling. Now, how many of us agree now that at uh, the level Papa is, is supposed to be slowing down? But the man did they slow down. But rather, he they put more fire. He they put more what? And you, that has not even started, is doing as if... Uh, Everything is okay. Anytime you begin to feel that everything is okay, nothing is okay. Oh. Nothing is what? Collect your love back from God. David said, restore to me the joy of my salvation. When your love is refired, God will refire his favor. Rise up to your feet. You are not going to ask God, give me favor. You are not going to ask God what? Give me favor. Scripture said, the love of God has been shared abroad in our hearts. By what? By the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost fire afresh, the love of God in your heart, you have entered a new chapter of favor. All eyes closed, all heads bow. If you are not born again, you are not in Christ. You can be in church and not be in Christ. You can be in church and not be what? In Christ. If a man be in Christ, not if a man be in church. If a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and all things have become new. When Jesus is not Lord in your life, you cannot carry favor from God. But if you want to make it right with Jesus, 
wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. You pray that prayer with me wherever you are. Please come forward right now. You are going to do your own impartation and anointing here. As this oil come upon you, Holy Spirit, restore me to my first love. Restore me to my first love. Rekindle the love of God afresh in my heart. Bring me back to my spiritual fervency. Let me be restored with the passion with which I found you in the name of Jesus Christ. That will be what will release, bring back favor upon you. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, restore my love. Restore my love for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, restore my love for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, rekindle my love for you. Restore my passion for you. Restore my passion for your house. Whatever made the favor of God to stay far from my life, Jesus, by this anointing, let the fire of the Holy Ghost breathe afresh upon me the love of God. Let this rekindle the love of God in my heart. Lift up your voice and pray. Rekindle your love for my heart. Rekindle your love afresh in my heart. Holy Spirit, fire in afresh the love of God upon my soul, my passion for the kingdom, my passion for your house, my passion for prayer, my passion for soul winning, my passion for word study. Lord, refire afresh the love of God in my heart. Refire afresh the love of God in my heart. Whatever. Reduce my love for the house of God. Jesus, rekindle afresh in my heart the love of God. Rekindle afresh in my heart the love of God. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Let the love of God be rekindled afresh in our spirits. Let the love of God be rekindled afresh in our soul. Let the love of God be rekindled afresh in our hearts. In the name of Jesus. Passion for your house. Passion for the kingdom. Passion for the advancement of the church. In the name of Jesus. Rekindle afresh in my heart. In Jesus name we pray. Place your right hand on your head. I pray for you today. Fresh dew of favor. Fresh dew of favor. Fresh dew of favor. Any power behind your wilderness season by the oil of favor that spell is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of disfavor fired by witchcraft powers be swallowed up in the name of Jesus. Whatever is behind the mystery of hardship in your life, I speak with prophetic authority that yoke of hardship be swallowed up in the name of Jesus. Any power that suspended your destiny with stagnation, I decree the power behind that stagnation be crushed in the name of Jesus. I pray for you from today. Go forward. Doors of opportunities will begin to look for you. Your favor carriers will not rest until you are settled. Your favor carriers will not rest until you are settled. Your favor carriers will not rest until you are settled. Whatever brought you and your entire family into groaning hardship, I decree by the anointing of favor that spell upon your family be swallowed up today. Every yoke of marital shame, yoke of marital rejection, 
yoke of marital confusion be broken in the name of Jesus. By the oil of favor, be located. By the oil of favor, be located. By the oil of favor, be accepted. By the oil of favor, be accepted. Every marine power fighting your acceptance, I cause their roots in the name of Jesus. Every marine power that is scattering things in your family, I terminate the assignment in the name of Jesus. By the favor of God, I decree the hand of God's intervention to show in your life. It is written, in his favor, there is life. Anything that is eating you up now, by the oil of favor, I decree turn around for you. Turn around for your family. Turn around for your children. I pray for you. The favor of God that guarantees speed give you good speed. Whatever you have been struggling to get from January till now, by the favor that guarantees speed, recover all you have lost. Recover all you have lost. Recover all you have lost. Any power behind on the achievement, I command their spell over your life shattered in the name of Jesus. What others are struggling to get in 30 years, by the favor of God, it will be delivered into your hand before October. It will be delivered into your hand before October. It will be delivered into your hand before October. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Rachel was hated, but favor opened her womb. Every arrow of hatred fired against you. I command your door to open. I command your business gate to open. I command your womb to open. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your hand and thank God. I appreciate him. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his favor. 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 Thank him for his goodness upon your life. Thank him for his goodness upon your family. Thank him for his goodness upon your career. Upon your career. Upon your future. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for the rest roundabout. Father, we are grateful for all you have done. Be thou exalted. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. From today, amen. from today, you will not be looking for things. Amen. Things will be running after you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every of your favor carrier, wherever they are, they will not rest until you are located. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Congratulations. Tell you. Go saturated with favor. Go with the seal of favor. Go with the seal of goodwill. You will prosper. Nothing will go down in your life again. No blessing will be reduced in your life again. It shall be well with you. From today, you will not struggle. From today, you will not know slow motion. God will satisfy you early. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Anything that has given men opportunity to mock you, that has brought tears from your eyes, I speak as a son of Oyedepo. Today, that thing is turned into blessing. You cried in the secrets. God is announcing your blessing in the open. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Your case is settled. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's share the goodness together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us 
all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hold on. If you wrote your whatever.